All right, what's going on, everybody? Thought I'd do just a really quick video. I was just talking on Instagram with a couple other powder coaters, um, and a guy was having some problems with some bubbling on his wheels. So um, the things we were kind of talking about are just some general uh, prep work type of items. Um, so the, the one thing I recommended, he said he stripped them about four days ago and then sandblasted them. Um, when you let aluminum sit for that long, it does start building up an oxidation layer. Um, in, in fact, it can start as soon as 10 minutes. So you want to make sure after you blast them, you prep them, get them in coated and, and cured right away. You don't just want them to sit. If you're not going to put the coating on them, don't sandblast them until you're ready. Um, you know, it does just add the profile. If you've already chemically stripped them, you don't really need to sandblast, is what some people say, but the, the blasting gives it the profile. And if they've sat around and have grown oxidation on them, that'll help take that back off. So we've got a set of wheels here off a Mustang that we're doing for a dealership. Um, we just got them out of the uh, sandblaster. And then I've got my bucket here of soapy water. Um, what I like to do is I'll rinse these off, get all the dust off of them. And then um, like a Dawn dish soap, nothing with a wax or anything in it you want something that cuts grease i wash them off with a rag hose them back off air dry them shove them in the oven make sure they're fully dry and then i bring them out and coat them so just a couple quick tips on how we do wheels here uh, if you have any comments on how you guys do them or any other questions leave them at the bottom um, otherwise we hope to be coming up with some more can you coat it we uh, my brother came up with a really good idea so um, if we can figure out how to get the uh, item stiff enough to actually coat, um, we'll do it and keep your heads out of the gutter. Um, but anyways, make sure you subscribe and catch us on the next one.